Hey everyone, Jir here, and today we are going to do a little bit of shop organization. So we're starting off just trying to get a few things moved. I want to get the blast cabinet moved out of the way uh, from where I showed it to you in the previous video. Uh, packing up my miter saw here, we're going to do some vacuuming, and then we are going to modify part of my previous lumber cart and make it able to mount to the wall. Now, the modifications we're going to do to this is we are going to bore some more holes so we can put in more pieces of conduit. And then I need to dado the backside, actually cut away a chunk so it'll sit over my 2x10 header that I have that splits the wall. So in order to do this, first thing I have to do is obviously take it apart. And then I measure the wall, try to figure out roughly where I want everything, and then transpose those dimensions onto the rack itself. So the first thing I'm doing, I have my dado blade and the table saw. I mounted a board to my miter, and then I'm just moving away, just cutting away that section that'll go around that header piece. Now we'll do a quick test fit, make sure it's good, and finish the rest. Then we will reassemble all four pieces of that rack with the horizontal braces and get ready to mount it on the wall. Now cutting out that section is kind of useful also because it allows me to set this up on the wall and not have to hold it the entire time. I could just kind of rest it. And then it's initial fastening. I'm just using some three and an eighth inch screws, screwing it into the studs before I mount it with nice long construction screws into the six by sixes and the doubled up studs where the plywood pieces meet on the wall. Now I cut some more conduit, three quarter inch conduit, and then tap that in, and that is what is actually supporting everything on the rack. And having something like this to store items such as the PVC pipe you see there has been really nice. Things that are really hard to store and create quite a bit of pain when they're down around floor level, it's really nice to get them up and out of the way. And now that that part's done, we're going to put the blast cabinet in its new home. And you're going to see when I jack it up off the dollies, I am setting them down on two by sixes. And that is to increase the height because without those, it sits too low. And with extended periods of usage, my lower back ends up hurting. Okay, since the last cut, we have moved all of the power tools over here. I got a lumber rack or long piece storage rack mounted up on the wall. That was part of my lumber cart. Lumber cart is now 100% disassembled. Blast cabinet is moved over there. And the biggest job is the monster bench is moved. That used to reside right there. So I now have the floor cleaned, wiped, scrubbed, and I'm going to start moving a couple of things over there. I'm going to store the welders right there. Uh, eventually, I'm going to French cleat more of the wall so I can hang the Milwaukee tools and everything up, uh, or just power tools in general, on that wall. But that, that's going to be you know a little bit more forward in the future because I need to finish moving, getting everything else organized so I can get back to having access to some of my tools. I think I'm going to put the miter saw stand on that back wall. All of those tools are going to be pulled over here. I'm going to build a bench for a majority of those and have, I think, uh, you know, plywood even coming up just a little bit to block stuff from coming over, but also give me a place where I can mount a little bit, maybe cubbies or, you know, uh, tools, whatnot to have access to right up here above my 
toolbox. But I'm going to get to moving and then we'll give you another update here in just a little bit.